Hey, my friends, welcome back to Nerd Chic or Ask the Nerd Podcast. We're so glad you're on today. We're talking about crypto again. So, in this episode, I want to talk about digging into cryptocurrencies or blockchains with interesting projects. So, again, everybody's interested in the cryptocurrency, but for me, the currency itself is a bonus. I'm so interested in the blockchain. What has some really interesting projects? So I want to bring today nine project-based cryptocurrencies I really like. And then I'll mention a couple others at the end. But I really want to focus on these. Now, again, a lot of folks are getting the term Bitcoin in their vernacular. So whenever I say cryptocurrency, you may be thinking Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is the one standard everybody talks about. And there are then what they call altcoins. And these altcoins are other blockchains and other cryptocurrencies that have incredible um, projects and are getting more adoption. So I want to talk about those. So um, the first one I want to talk about, and it makes perfect sense I want to talk about it first, is Ethereum. Ethereum probably has the most um, developing, the most uh, projects, the most um, interest, the most um, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, which we'll talk about later. It has the most going on of anybody. So really, my favorite, favorite, favorite to talk about is Ethereum. As far as an investment goes, I'm not an investment advisor, but Ethereum makes sense that it's going to be here for the long term because there are a lot of folks developing in it. Now, that doesn't mean everything will stay there. All the money and the platforms and the exchanges and everything, the DeFi, the tokens, the smart contracts, doesn't mean it'll stay there forever. However, the way a blockchain is built is the contract stays there forever. It's built in, so it's going to be there. We have seen money come into a blockchain and leave a blockchain. I won't name blockchains, but there's a lot of stories about blockchains that went on the south side of their developers, and there were movements out of the blockchain into a new one, and there were was movements of the stable coins out of it, and it really crippled some of these different cryptocurrencies and blockchains. Ethereum is going through a new change where it goes to Ethereum 2 over the next couple years. And I want to tell you that's actually going to be a really good move because it's going to lower the fees that are involved with Ethereum. But there are other groups out there that are creating ways to move around the really packed out blockchain in Ethereum that's truly taking a lot of energy and a lot of fees and for the mining and whatever and going into other ways to get around it before that proof of stake version of Ethereum 2.0 gets here, so they're working in the different layers. I don't want to dig into that, but Ethereum still, I would say, in my top nine um, projects, blockchains that have projects and developers, I'd say it would be number one, so I'm bringing it up right here. The rest of these are less in order of value that I'm sharing, but I still want to cover them. The next one that I like, that I like to talk about, is Theta. Theta has two different things. It has Theta coin, which is just Theta, and it has T fuel, which is the Theta fuel. And the reason why I really like this, it's more focused on one real project. And the one real project is making a huge, massive supercomputer out of a lot of people's computers that are mining or functioning to serve up data and encrypt it. So they serve up video, the founder, it was connected to YouTube and Google, and Google is kind of behind the scenes on this. I think they're an outside investor on it, so they've got an eyeball on it. And the actual technology is really interesting because all of our computers are hooked in and they're serving up people's videos. It's just like they're, they're streaming video through a decentralized web and encryption. Now, here's what I love about Theta that's better than, I would say, some of the other ones that are attempting to do this same kind of project. Theta has a thing where it's running in the background when you're not serving up videos your computer is in a huge supercomputer it's linked in into the network and the processing power that's running from your graphics card and your processor is actually running to figure out algorithms and models for stuff like cancer research and HIV research and even COVID research it's actually going on right now. So universities that don't have the means to have these supercomputers, they can tap into a Theta network, utilize the supercomputer, and it can be doing the process and working up the models. I find that very interesting. And anyone that has their device open to it, 
they can be used by it and they get paid theta fuel for it. They can take that theta fuel later and stake it for a node. They already can take theta, the coin, and it's super expensive, but later it'll be the fuel as well is what's coming, they say. So I love it. Both of these two, I've actually worked in the development side and in the um, uh, mining side. So I've mined it, I've developed on it. It's, it, I love them. Okay, so that's two that projects I like. Again, this is not investment advice. It's just really cool technology that's making a lot of sense out there. It might be worth even more. It's it's done real well. Another one is Stellar. I've not been on the development side or the mining side of Stellar because that's not how it functions. But Stellar has gotten massive adoption because it's been helping groups like Marshall Islands and others create their own cryptocurrency for their country. So they're speaking into them. I think they've done three or four different projects and the way they function is it's a super quick transaction. So the project that's behind it is very attractive. The Stellar Network is really awesome. I think there's a lot of opportunity in the future for that, that blockchain, that crypto technology to really grow. So that's another one that I like. I, again, this is about projects. Invest however you wanna invest, but I like the projects behind them. Some other projects I like, I like BAT, B-A-T. It's the Brave token. It's not really a coin, but it's a token give it away for people that are using the Brave browser. And that joker has gone from almost worth nothing to like worth a buck 45 or whatever. And let me get let me just be clear. I use Brave browser and I turn on rewards and I get paid to browse the web securely and privately. It's the most secure private browser I've run into. It has ads that are served up to you with a pop-up or with their opening page and they're ads I wanna see because it's in the realm of cryptocurrency and the kinds of stuff I want. So I'm learning stuff when it's going on. They're serving it up. I've signed up for a number of things straight from those ads, so folks are getting revenue from me, but on top of that, it goes into my Uphold wallet and that appreciates in value. Who doesn't love getting paid for using their browser, which is like a Chrome browser. It's built on Chrome you know, technology, so Google technology, to be private and secure and for people to minimize the intrusions and the ads, and then on top of that, only serve up what I want, oh, psh, yeah, saves bandwidth, saves whatever, and I get paid to do it. Brave Browser, I love the BAT token. I think there's a lot of upside for it because it's a great project, great idea. Um, another one that does that, that's a great learning tool is Decrypt. Decrypt as a, a medium is, uh, it's, a, it's a news, it's a news page but they've partnered with Filecoin and Filecoin's created the Decrypt token and you get paid to read and share and you know do the whatever in their blog and their posts and their news. That's incredible, but that's my favorite. Another one like us Decrypt. It's not one of my nine, but interesting. It's just interesting right now. Algorand is another one. Love the projects behind it. Won't get into all of that, but Algorand is one that it just seems like it's making sense. It's doing a lot of stuff that leans into where I believe Cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, smart contracts needs to go. It's another good one. Um, one that folks are loving right now is Ada and Cardano. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying Cardano right, but it's. I like the projects behind it. I love it. And I'm not saying that this one's like it, but another one I like that's similar is Chainlink, Link, the projects behind it, but it didn't make my top nine. Um, Cardano did. Uh, another one that I like, and I have to admit, I'm hoping they pull through all the SEC stuff, but is Ripple, XRP. I like the way it functions. I like the technology behind it. That one right there. Um, because it's the, it's what works. You know, I mean, we're talking about quick transi transactions. We're talking about security, whatever. If they'll get their ducks in a row and not treat this in a funny way and come into guidance of, you know, SEC and others, what a great platform and projects are built behind it. Um, I'm just going to finish up with these last two. I won't dig into so much why, but Digibyte or Digibyte, I think they call it Digibyte. I like it because it's fast. Fast, fast, fast cryptocurrency, fast transaction, fast digital assets. They've got a function that does NFTs that's faster and better. And I would say that, um, I would say equal to them would be Tron TRX, but Tron has had some really bad press and they've done some quirky stuff when they took over stuff like BitTorrent and they took, took over, um, steam it i think it was some really bad press and so i can't put them on my top nine but digibyte has that quick fast transaction kind of thing that i really really like okay so that's that and then um my last one that i'll bring up today my not top nine is eos so it's under eos io 
And again, I've got it right here. I like it. It's a fast, flexible, forward-driven network. Um, it's really scalable, highly configurable. They're really good with their developers. A lot of these that I've just talked about, there's a lot of resources for developers like me. There's a lot of ways to create D apps. There's a lot of ways to whatever. And I mentioned Tron that didn't make my top nine. It does have a lot of openness for developers to get in there. It doesn't have a lot of the adoption. A lot of folks jumped ship and went back to ETH after Tron did some weird stuff. But do I like the projects? Yeah, I do, I do. So do I like the openness for us to be able to utilize it, create non-fungible tokens, to create smart contracts, to create apps, to create DeFi on top of it, decentralized finance. I love all that stuff. So anyways, that's my top ones for today. I just wanna share those with you. Hopefully they've been helpful, but it's Ethereum, Theta, Theta Fuel, uh, Stellar, Bat, Digibyte, EOS, Algorand, Ada Cardano, XO, XRP, and then some side ones would be Chainlink or Link, and uh, Tron, TRX. Those are, I see the value in those projects, okay? So projects, versus just investing intrinsic value. Very important. Will these guys all be here next year when we come back around? I don't know. I don't know. I can't make any guarantees. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do thank you for being on here. And if you've got any questions for a nerd and a techie and a developer in this space, you wanna ask them, ask them in the comments. I'll answer as best I can. There's probably people out there that can answer them better, but I'm trying to make it very simple and understandable and help you do the most you can as you take your journey into crypto. I think the next talk I'm gonna do is really digging into crypto mining and some opportunities to get your feet wet there. So join back in. Be sure to subscribe to our Nerd Cheek channel and the Ask the Nerd podcast. And don't forget, we got a website, askthenerd.net, and NFTs on Rarible. You guys, we're having fun now. Oh, and what about our app? I'm just saying. You guys take care.